hey there stampers and crafters of all kinds and even if you're not a crafter you might really enjoy today's class um, I'm gonna be playing with a little bit more than stamps today uh, you know we're all under a, a stay-at-home uh, advisories and quarantine due to the COVID and Stampin' Up! has released, released this week a really cool um, download for uh, COVID relief and they're calling it Share Sunshine and it's a little different. It, it, it's, a, uh, it's a downloadable PDF that they're giving you free when you donate $12 and there's two different causes that you can choose from and uh, one of them happens to be the United Way which is one that I personally am very much involved in. I do fundraisers for them every year. Um, they run our local food pantry and um, they do a lot of really great things. So I was very happy to be able to to give back to them, especially for this cause and this time when we really need it. But I'm going to show you this download because it was so much more than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be a few sheets of really cute sayings that you could use on anything. They don't have to be cards or crafting projects, you know, kids could put them together and things like that. But it ended up being quite a bit more than that, which is so, so cool. But before we get started with that, let's talk about our giveaway today, which is uh, the New Wonders stamp set. I will be giving two away, one immediately following this broadcast and one at the end, uh, I'm sorry, one on May 15th. And I draw the winners from the comments on this, um, on this video. So if you're watching on YouTube or if you're watching live on Facebook or even if you're watching the replay on Facebook, you are eligible to enter just by leaving a comment. And uh, if you share this broadcast, I want you a second time into that uh, replay drawing because I love it. I love you and I want to share it. Share the love right back. Um, I also have a uh, really fun kit if you're looking for some stamp therapy and some fun things to do at home. Uh, this is a great one. It is a fun fold kit. It's the I call it the butterfly fun fold kit. It comes with the stamp dies, most of the supplies you need to do uh, these four cards, including a video and a tutorial along. This is um, a full class, and the deadline for to order this is May third. You'll want to purchase it on my blog at stampatami.com or click on the link in this video's description. All right, so I'm going to get started with the class. I just want to set a, a little reminder out there that I have a free PDF for you guys, um, a different PDF than the, the download. And this one is uh, all of the projects that I'm doing today. And I actually have quite a bit of projects here. Usually I'm doing one, maybe two, but this we're going to do a little bit of a lot of things today. And I have measurements and supply lists for everything that I'm doing there. I like to keep it simple. So you can just click on the link in this video's description to download that and to get to the resource page. And what you'll find on the resource page is photos of all of these, you'll find a full supply list, but you're also going to find that um, that free PDF that has, oh my gosh, I lost mine. Anyways, I guess you, you know what it looks like. It has a URL that brings you back to the video that we're making right now, um, of which I'll keep on that resource page. Oh, I'm glad you guys love this. So these are what we're going to be creating today. Seriously, this one just makes me laugh. They're, they're mostly lighthearted, fun sayings that, you know, just send a little love without the germs. So we're gonna be doing, uh, just roll with it. I totally share my toilet paper with you. Now that one needs to go to someone very special. I miss your face. I'll show you how to do these face masks. And um, I'll show you how to do this. This is my uh, hero card, I'm calling it. This is actually a uh, design from Jeannie Cioli, a friend of mine, demonstrator friend of mine that she shared. And um, it's a great, great one for all of those on the front line, in the hospitals, uh, working, the doctors, the nurses, working uh, very hard right now, especially in our area. And um, I'm sure they could use a little pick me up. So this is a, a little thank you. I'll show you how to make that. And and one of my favorites, have another quarantini. All right, all the sayings come from that download. So I thought I'd first show you what the download is because like I said, I did not realize how much was in the download when I got it. So you do your, your donation and I have a link um, on the resource page or you can just go to stampwithtammy.com and I have it there. Um, and when you download it, it's got, you know, a couple of pages here of one, just the, the use of the, the PDF, you know, they're, they're, they're doing this for a fundraiser. So they're, they're hoping that, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll donate the money to get the PDF and help the causes out. But then they also have um, a listing of coordinating products and dies that go with each, um, each page in here. And I do not have these in order. In fact, they're in I think they're in reverse order. There's 15 pages of super fun sayings in here. Some of them are just really great sayings and some of them are really fun. <laughs> I love that we're six feet apart. We're, we're close at heart. 
though we're not together, we are close at heart, not alone, just apart. And it's just some really nice ones to send a little hug to somebody. And uh, these here of thank you for your service and thank you for your sacrifice. I especially liked that one. Thank you for your sacrifice. And uh, we're in this together. Thank you, hero, which I put in that, that scrubs card, the hero scrubs card. I can't wait to hug you when this is all over. Just breathe, but wear your mask. <laughs> it's your part. It's your birthday. Let's digitally party. And I love, these are some fun ones here. I changed out of my night pajamas into my day pajamas. And uh, I miss you, hoping that by staying home, more things change than my pajamas. <laughs> Business on the top, PJs on the bottom. Actually, that that's something that can describe me many days, even without the quarantine quarantine and chill we're thinking it's so there's all of this is included and i printed these off on whisper white cardstock and so we could just use either a paper trimmer scissors even or i use some of um our dies just regular um standard dies to cut them out you could use any of the above things i miss touching my face <laughs> and i love this one what a year this week has been so super super fun uh sayings on here Again, 15 sheets of them. You can continue to print off more sheets if you want to use one saying more than, you know, a lot. You want to make a whole bunch of them. You can print off a bunch of, of that and use it. So uh, lots of fun. So this is what I'm using for my greetings today. I'll be using this download um, from that COVID uh, fundraiser. Oh, here it is. <laughs> There's the free PDF. It was underneath all my... Uh, my downloads. So here on the free PDF, uh, I have a URL here that brings you back to, if you type this in or use the smart code, if you uh, know how to do that with your smartphone, it will bring you back to the same place, which is the resource page. I'll post this video as soon as we're done filming it and all the resources there, including downloading this, photos of the projects, a full supply list. I want to give um, a little edit on my supply list. I put in here old olive and real red, but what I really used was, um, Grinny Apple Green and Poppy Parade, but these two work. And I only realized that after when I was um, getting stuff ready for today and I cut the gold olive and I'm like, wait a minute, that doesn't match. <laughs> but it's not a huge deal, like I said. These, uh... So anyways, this is all of the, the measurements and the details on what I used for each of the projects. So that's this, this is free and you can get that. Up. You can click on the link in this video too and that will bring you directly to... Um, this, I'm sorry, directly to that, that resource page that I just told you about. So we're going to start with the toilet paper roll. Oh my gosh. And again, the saying could be used on anything, but I thought, how fun is this as just a little, a cute little gift to make, put a smile on somebody's face. And it says, I totally share my toilet paper with you. And you know that it needs to be somebody very special if you're sharing toilet paper, because you know what gold toilet paper is right now, right? All right. So this is a tag, it's just a tag that I tied on with some linen thread. And the color palette of these projects is um, Granny Apple Green. Again, the, the old olive that I wrote in there works too. And then we've got Pool Party, Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, Copper Foil. That's my favorite. Whisper White and Basic Black. So for this project, I did the Pool Party and the Bermuda Bay for the tag. And then, so, you know, I just printed everything off on white. You could print these on any color cardstock that you wanted except maybe black because it probably wouldn't show up on black, but I did it all on white. And then I took the, these are the nested dies. And if you didn't have these, you could certainly do it in a square. You could just cut it out in a square with your paper cutter. So I used the largest one, the d largest nested stitch die on the Coastal Cabana, and then the second largest one on the Pool Party. And um, then through the magic <laughs> of video, I cut those out and then I uh, just used some snail to attach those together. And then I cut this out of my download and we used to have a die. Somebody was asking about this earlier. We used to have a die that was very similar to this. It was like a, in a banner set and it, it discontinued. I no longer have it. So I don't know if that is the same size as this is, but I just hand cut here. I didn't think that was a big deal. But if you had that die set, you could certainly test it to see if that banner was the same size as this. And this is in that sheet in both color and black and white. And this is just a really quick, fun project. You can make a bunch of these, you know, drop them off on ghost people, drop them off on their door. So I didn't say ghost people. Like we do this at Halloween time. We drop off a bucket of candy, ring the doorbell and run. And you know, they know, they don't know. They have to figure out who did it. You could, 
you could do that, but I feel like in the past year or so, it's not as easy to, to do that because everybody has ring cams and they can see who did it. <laughs> so it's not as much of a surprise. <laughs> but it would be really fun just to leave these on somebody's uh, on somebody's doorstep just for a little smile for them. So for this, I just used some Stampin' Dimensionals and I attached it so it popped up. If you didn't have um, a color printer or a printer that can can print on cardstock, maybe some of them don't, I don't know. Um, mine is actually a fairly cheap one, but it, it, it printed off nicely. But if you didn't have that, you could also probably have it printed, I think. You know, they could Staples might print it for you. So that's the tag, and then just take a, a whole bunch. a little hole in there and then I took some of our reversible ribbon because I just thought this was so fun and, and it was the perfect colors granny apple green and and the uh I think it's coastal cabana for the tag so I just snipped off a little bit of that look at so it's reversible right so you can see both sides super fun and then I just tied that through oh I'm glad you guys are having fun playing with this I really think it is just so awesome and so, I just love the sayings, you know, it just makes you smile. Plus, I love seeing what people are, are doing with them. I actually just put a challenge out today for my Stamp It team. I want to see what they're doing yeah, with their downloads, you know, who they're giving them to and different things because I love seeing that. I think that's fun. And I think that was part of the intent when Stampin' Up! Um, created this this fundraiser was they wanted to not, not only raise money for some good causes, but they also wanted to... Um, they also wanted to, you know, do a little good, spread a little smile. So then I just took some linen thread and tied that onto the toilet paper roll. But you could actually put that on other things, too, if you wanted to, like a wine bottle and a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> okay, so on to the next project. And that one is the Quarantini card. So I pre-cut that out of the sheet, the Quarantini sheet. Um, See which one I don't remember these these are actually numbered by the way there's numbers down here on the bottom so this is page number four there's one in, in color and there's one in black and white so I took the black and white one but color one certainly works too and then I used uh the bright markers to color that in granny apple green and poppy parade although actually you probably just need the green and I'll, I'll tell you why in a second Just colored the olives in because this this one <laughs> this is so fun this one's from my, my lady friends we have our little zoom party every week our little get together and catch up since we can't do it in person and uh you know we have our little quarantinis <laughs> so I, I i just colored that in and the reason why i said you maybe even don't even need that red is because i used and i cannot find it here i think i might have forgotten no nope, nope, i got them shoot thought i had forgotten to bring them down I use the red rhinestones to attach for the olive. I think it's the pit. Is that the pit of the olive that's that's red? And then I just stuck that right on there. This is in case you're new. This is a take your pick tool here. It's like this little Swiss Army knife. It's got all these different attachments that you can use, and one of them helps you with those tiny little things. Although I don't have nails anymore, thanks to. Uh, the quarantine so I can pick up little things now that I used to not be able to pick up so I cut this out with the stitched rectangles right out of that sheet and um if you're not familiar with the stitched rectangle dies in fact um, I'm gonna pop over and show you the the um, die sets that I used here the the just the ones that were um, the basic sets that I used on all uh, in, I intermingled mingled these on the projects but this one is the uh, rectangle dies so what I did was I just cut like a each piece, and I'll show you in a second, each piece a little bit bigger, so they made a frame. And uh, and then on some of the other ones, I'll, I'll come back to this and show you the different ones, but you can see the nested ones there. And so they make different shapes, so they put it together. So here, I just took... So I've got some Whisper White cardstock, and again, the measurements are on that free PDF. And I cut the white out and then I cut um, and again I used old olive on this one and I put that in the instructions but grainy apple green I think was it I like that better it doesn't matter but I liked it better and then the black one died bigger so that they made three frames here and then I, I attached this top one so I attached these two with snail and then put them on the, the card base with uh, dimensionals I'm gonna attach this with dimensionals I like pop 
but if you don't or if you're mailing this and don't want a lot of bulk you could put this one down super flat so that you don't have to worry about um, you don't have to worry about the, uh, the you know taking it in to be hand canceled at the post office you can actually just mail it right from your mailbox okay Christine where is the PDF that you're talking about which PDF one is it the one with the measurements uh, for the projects that I'm making or the download with all of the I, I I'm, I'm guessing that you mean this, but you can find either one by going to stampwithtammy.com or clicking on the link in this video's description. Um, if you go to my blog, you'll see both this class up there and you'll see where you can download this PDF. In case I, I missed that part, but it's always linked in the video's description. Everything that I, every resource page is always up there and anything that I talk about, I usually link in a resource page so that you can find it easily. One more thing that I did um, on here that I thought was uh, super cute and I'm just going to tell you about it. I'm not going to actually um, do the demonstration on it. I took this, um, the champagne shimmer mist. Can you guys see it on there? Can you see the sparkle? So I put that in um, and we do this a lot at Christmas time, but I just thought it was kind of fun. It added a little shimmer to the card. I, I put it in one of our spritzers, our Stampin' Spritzers with some rubbing alcohol and just spritzed it and it makes it all shimmery. So I thought that was a nice touch. So you can see the two. I'm just trying to hold it in the right light just so you can see the shimmer on it. Because in person, it's really, really cool. But sometimes that doesn't always translate on video because you can't always see all that. All right, next up, let's roll with it. <laughs> more, of that, more of that toilet paper that we're hoarding right now, right? Toilet paper is like gold. All right, so first off, I went to those... Um, the stitched nested labels and I cut the um, the just roll with it and I'll tell you which one here I think this is the fifth fifth smallest I believe did I go from small I have a marked but I can't remember yeah fifth smallest so coming from the smallest to the largest so I started there so I cut this out with that out of the out of the pack and then I cut one two sizes larger for right below it and then I took some fun copper foil and cut our, our, our baseline on that one. I also cut this out of the sheet for the inside. I'm here for you from a distance. A lot of sayings on there that, that were really cute for the inside, but that was the one I chose for this particular card. So I'm going to show you. Can you guys see that little toilet paper roll? How freaking cute is that, right? <laughs> I'm going to show you how I did that. So first of all, let's go ahead and put, we'll go ahead and assemble the card and then I'll put that on last. So I took a, a piece of black and I attached that. Uh, I actually um, embossed that with a Suttles folder. Again, that's kind of a, you don't need to do that. It's optional, but I love the texture on it. So I took the Suttles folder and did that. And then I attached these pieces with, and I'm going to use the black ones for this so they don't show because we're doing it on black, but dimensionals to pop it up. I don't know how I lived without these dies either, Barb. Seriously. I feel like they're just some of them are just staples, right? So that's going to be the, the bottom, the base of our frame. And then these you can attach either. And it's the same thing if you were. Oh, I'm off screen. Sorry. Uh, same thing. If you were mailing this and you wanted to do it flat, um, you could not do the dimensionals and just attach it flat with glue or snail. And I apologize if I'm going off screen a little bit because right before I went live, my the camera that I my overhead camera that I use completely fell. The whole system that was holding it up fell. And I was like, oh crap, what am I gonna do? <laughs> so I literally have a kind of Mickey Mouse right now, and I'm just I have to push my arms out a little bit to uh to to work when I'm in, in frame. So forgive me. I hope that I can fix that this weekend so that that won't be a bother for you guys. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you're loving the sample, Suzanne. All right, so for the inside, I also popped this I'm here for you from a distance up on dimensionals. I might have used a different one. This is the one I used on the original, wash your hands. <laughs> Let's just roll it because I had toilet paper, wash your hands. But uh, for this one, I, I changed it up because, you know, they can be, you don't have to use the same insides. You can always say something different, but they all had a little smile. And again, if you were mailing this and wanted to keep it flat, you could just put this down with glue or snail adhesive. I like the pop. 
And obviously we're not like literally hand delivering these, but you might be dropping it off with your toilet paper roll that you put the little tag on. So you may not actually be putting it in the mail. Okay, so now, ah, wait, one more thing. Let's put the, these are new. These are the champagne rhinestones that are in that ornate garden suite. They're so pretty. And they go really nicely with the copper. So we'll put those on the corners for a little bling bling. Oh, thanks, Angie. There's lots of inspiration and awesome ideas. I'm glad you guys like them. I sat down and started playing yesterday, and then I just, I, I was addicted. I couldn't stop. All right, so I've got a, maybe three squares of toilet paper here. And uh, I didn't want to take too many squares because, you know, it's toilet paper like gold right now. I did not find that the paper cutter worked really well to cut toilet paper because it's so fragile. Um, so I just, I, I cut it with the scissors. It didn't matter if it wasn't exactly straight because you really can't tell anyway. So then I just rolled it up. <laughs> Cindy's like, this one's so funny. I know they, they all made me smile. So we're just taking out a little toilet paper, rolling it up. So however, however you want it to be. And then um, I found that the, the mini glue dots probably were the best way to adhere that. So once you've got it as thick as you want that roll to be, just take a, a little bit of adhesive glue dot or snail and um, use it to secure the roll so it doesn't come unrolled on you. And then I'm taking another mini glue dot that one actually stuck so let's do that again I think it's stuck to my finger but not to the toilet paper actually let's do two extra safety all right and then I'm gonna just kind of put that up here on the side Oops, I don't know I mean you can you can flatten it. it's probably gonna get flattened in the card anyways unless you put it in a little puff envelope but like I want it to stay a little puffy and then we're just going to make it look like it's kind of rolling out. So I put um, little glue dots every so often. I kind of popped it up like that so it looked like it was, you know, a roll of toilet paper, which it is. <laughs> it totally is a roll of toilet paper, but it looked like they were kind of rolling. Actually, I probably would have maybe done one more little roll in there. I think I skimped on the rolling but that's okay you kind of get the idea from that right and then just tear it off and you've got your little just roll with it card <laughs> so that's the, the the just roll with it toilet paper card and then we're going to make the mask cards these are the ones that I absolutely loved and oh my gosh I, I totally on the uh, resource page, I I, um, I listed the the man that that I got this mask design from. I listed his um, hashtag that he he had because uh, I just love the little mask on here. And basically, these are the same um, background. They're just I, I I used layering ovals on this one to cut out the I'm smiling under this mask, and I used the rectangles on the I miss your face. So just pop right over on that really quickly just to show you the dies again, um, the dies. So it was the stitch rectangles for the I Miss Your Face and the layering ovals for the um, I'm Smiling Under This Mask. <laughs> and then on the inside, I layered some fun things in there too. I, I just love this one, things I miss touching my face. <laughs> it's your birthday. Let's party digitally. So basically, and I, I'm just going to do one today um, just to show you how I did it because basically they're the same thing. So... Any designer paper will do here. I use the brights because those are most of the colors that I use today were out of the brights collection from Stampin' Up. Um, and I know this is retiring, but there's another one coming, I think, that's similar. And then taking the Simply Scored tool. Now here's the key to this. You're going to score on the short side, and these scoring measurements are on that free PDF. And I might even zoom in just a hair just so you can see this. It was every half inch and then an eighth inch over that. So it was a half inch that we're scoring at and then five eighths of an inch. So that's an eighth, eighth of an inch larger than the half inch. And then there's the one inch and then there's one and an eighth inch. And then there's one and 
three quarter inches. I'm glad I cut that a little bit short, so I'm gonna go in just a hair. The measurements to cut it are on my blog. I mean, on that free PDF. And then an eighth of an inch bigger than that. So what's that? Uh, one and seven eighths, I think. So we have our, you see that the little scoring marks on there? You don't have to remember those. I have it written down for you. I'll take care of you. And then you wanna burnish those score lines because you're gonna go fold them like that, okay? So we've got Mountain Valley. The first one will be a mountain and then the little one will be a valley. So it kind of makes it like an accordion fold. Mountain and then valley. This valley doesn't want to doesn't want a valley for us. There we go. All right, so then we have our little accordion fold mask. It's that simple. Take your Yeah, it's just like making the pleats for the when you're actually sewing them, right? It's kind of like sewing them. Now here is the trick that I thought was genius. So this is um, a strip off an 11, eight and a half by 11 sheet of white, Whisper White cardstock. It is a quarter inch strip, which is pretty much exactly the, the, the width of our tear tape. So I cut it off and then I took the tear tape, which is, you know, our super strong adhesive. And I just went down the back, oops, not so straight on that, nothing with tear tape is you can't untear it. So what that does is it gives you a whisper white backing and you've got some very strong adhesive. So I'm going to peel, start by peeling off one edge of this. So it's going to be sticky on one side and then it's got whisper white cardstock on the other side. Now make sure this is down really flat when you do this. And I might overlap it just a hair to make sure that I've got adhesive all the way down. Okay. Oh, I want my silicone mat. There we go. So enough the adhesive doesn't stick to anything. And then just trim and trim. Right now I'm doing the back. And then again, make sure that's really tight. Make sure this is like really flat. Use your bone folder and burnish it again if you need to. And then I am going to flip it over and do the same thing on the front. That is gonna really keep those pleats in tight. Tight, 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 because we're gonna pop it in a minute and you don't want them to pop out. So I'm gonna make sure that they're you got something really strong adhesive on there. And that's why I double sided it. Okay, so we've got most of our mask done. The only um, other thing that I wanna do here is the bottom edge so it you know, looks official. So what I did here was I laid this out. Now it's upside down right now. So the sticky is up and this is the front of them. So I just flipped it over, right? So I'm putting applying it on the front of the mask, but only half only half of the, um, I'll show you why, because I didn't want a full quarter inch there. I only wanted, I, is, what's that, an eighth of an inch? So we've got an overhang of about an eighth of an inch, half of that sticky strip. I know it's a tiny amount. So if you line that up on the paper cutter, just right. You cut off that other half and voila, that becomes the bottom. It's already sticky and it's already the right length, right? Because we already measured it. Okay, so close to the right length. So now the last step to your mask is you want to make it a mask, right? You want to pop it out. You want to pop out the front where your nose is going to go. So you want to unflatten the center, but so we've got the sides really pleated well so they won't pop. And then the rest of that, we still have a little bit of that um, sticky strip left with the white cardstock on the back. This is the back, okay? On the inside, the center of the inside of this mask 
just straighten out the very center, that's it, and take the leftover piece of that strip of um, sticky strip with cardstock on the back just to keep it in place and trim off the excess. There. Now that's going to hold it open. And that is how we make our mask. And so I, I pre-did the, um, I pre-did the, put the card together. I just used the stitch rectangles for this particular card to, to do the outside. I have measurements too on that free PDF, just in case you don't have those um, stitch rectangles. The last little piece of this is obviously the ear pieces, right? So, and I don't have a ruler here. Actually, I'm going to use some of this grid paper to measure. It was two and three quarter inch of, and I'm using the crinkle ribbon, crinkle white ribbon, but any ribbon or twine, white ribbon or twine kind of goes. So it's two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. And then just take a mini glue dot and we'll stick those to the back. All of um, everything that I am sharing today, the download, the Stampin' Up! download, the free PDF download for these projects, you'll find them all on stampwithtammy.com on the resource page um, for this video. Simply click on the link in this video's description and everything that I'm sharing today we'll find there. You'll find links to it all. I'd like to make it easy for you guys. Okay, so I put four mini glue dots on the back of each corner. And then we're gonna stick that little ribbon loop it around. There's one ear ear piece and here is the other one. <laughs> Karen, that's awesome. I hope I made your day. She said she's been dying to learn how to make these masks. They're super easy once you make one. They're kind of addicting. I gotta tell you. I couldn't stop at just one. I wanted to keep going after that. So that hence why I have two cards here. Plus I, I loved all the sayings so I just couldn't stop. Period. All right, so now I'm going to take more mini glue dots after I've attached that ribbon because the first ones work to attach the ribbons. The next set in the same spot but over the ribbon is going to attach it to our card. So just on the four corners there. There. Boom. And there's your mask card. And again, I have two different styles here. So I have the I miss your face and uh, I'm smiling under this mask. But lots of those sayings from that that download you'll find there. Okay. <laughs> Susan says, I wish they were that easy to sew them. Oh, that's funny. My mom actually sewed some for me. My mom and my stepmom actually made some too. All right. Very last project is the... Hero. This is the the Hero um, Scrubs card. Let me back out just a hair here. Um, and this one I loved. This uh, and this is actually this was designed by my friend Jeannie Chioli designed this and she shared it and I absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. So for the scrubs, the color I used here was um, Coastal Cabana from Stampin' Up. And I'll tell you what I did. I have all of um, all of the measurements and the pieces listed on that free PDF. I took the, and I'm going to show you those dies again. I'm going to show you the pieces. These are from the stitched um, squares that are from the stitch shapes. Uh, the words I cut out in white and then a black border with the rect stitched rectangles. And then well, I'm going to show you actually, I'm going to show you how I made this collar right here. Um, but before I do that, let me just tell you the rest of the cuts here. We've got two ovals, and I spaced them two ovals apart. So instead of just doing, um, let me show you how I did that, actually. So you got your black cardstock, and then it was the, I think it was the second to the largest oval here, and this is the layering ovals die set. Maybe it was the largest. Let's see. Yep, okay, so this is the largest die in the set. But then I bounced down two, actually three for this one. So I went down three sizes 
and I ran it through, so ran the cardstock through just like this, through your die cut machine, just like this. And that cut the first oval. Now the second one is the smallest and the third smallest ovals. Same exact thing. Run them through and you get these two loops. Now, if somebody is asking about the PDF, I can't see. I can only see a response here. Um, it is a $12 donation, and you get the PDF free. Okay, so that was the layering um, ovals dies. And then I used the stitch shapes. So these are hearts from the stitch shapes dies um, to, to punch out the hearts. And the heart came from either Real Red or Poppy Parade, either one. So I used this little heart in that die, and then I used this one to cut out the white. The, thank you here out of the white. So I'm just gonna, I want to bounce over and just show you one more time. These are the dies that I used. The layering ovals and the uh, stitch shapes were the squares. And um, then also the, this is the um, Be Mine, stitched, stitched Be Mine dies for the hearts. Okay. And, uh, okay, so now, and the stitched rectangles were for the words. I'm just going to move these aside. I'm actually going to show you um, what I did here to cut this neckline. That's cut with uh, their stitched rectangle dies. And it was the second largest, the second largest on some coastal cabana, which is, you know, kind of traditional. Uh, I don't know anything about uh, cutting it from an SUV, SVG, so I don't know. It comes as a PDF, so um, I, I honestly don't know if you can um, transfer that. Okay, so then this is the second largest, and then, let's see, this is the two down from that, so the fourth largest. Okay, so just like the layering circles, I cut those two together, run that through the die cut machine, and I came out with this window frame. And that is what we are going to use to make the um, sorry, to make the collar on the scrubs. All right. So there's one more thing that we need to cut, and that is with those nested label dies, and that's the pocket. And the pocket uh, we did something a little bit did something a little bit different with. So I want to show you that. I'm actually going to cut that one out for you, just to, just to show you. So this was the nested labels. Everything was stitched today. So we got all the, the dies that we used were stitched. Stitch shapes, stitch rectangles, stitch nested, stitch be mine. And okay, I think it was this. This is the number three, so the third smallest of the nested dies. Michael, go to stampwithtammy.com and click on, um, you, sh you should see right on the home page what on the right hand side also you'll see this. Um, I know I don't have it linked in the description until as soon as I'm finished, I'll link it there too. But that's where you'll find the PDFs. You'll find links to both PDFs there. The, the fundraiser and the um, and the, the one that I have with all the measurements on. Okay, so I've got a scrap piece of Coastal Cabana here. I'm putting that nested die on and we're going to cut it. Thanks, Lily. She says this is fabulous. <laughs> Are you seeing the class there, Michael, when you go to stampwithtammy.com? Are you seeing the, um, on the right-hand side, are you seeing the link to this class? Um, because I, I, I honestly, I, I scheduled it to go at the same time as the video, so I haven't checked it. But hopefully it's okay. I'll double-check it if it's not showing up. Okay, so here I'm taking that same die. I'm going to use a post-it note if I can find one. Maybe not. Okay. I'm going to turn it sideways, and that's how I'm going to cut the top off of the pocket. So it still has that matching stitched look. Okay, so a couple of people are asking for the PDF, so I, I, I apologize for interrupting. I just want to make sure that everything published like it, it was supposed to, um, just to make sure that... Uh, it's showing. So if you go to stampwithtammy.com, no, mind you, if you're watching the replay, I will, if it's broken, I'll fix it, but you just need to click on the link in this video's description. Okay. So, oh, it looks like, yeah, it looks like it didn't post yet. My apologies, guys. My apologies. 
it looks like I thought I scheduled it to post when I went live, but it doesn't look like it actually did. So my apologies for that. If you're looking for the free PDF, and I'm sorry, Michael, I will, um, as soon as I'm finished, I will not only fix it, but I will also link it in this video so that you, it should be easy to find. My apologies, guys. You know, technology has not been on my side today. First, the boom camera fell. <laughs> Thank God it didn't break because I really thought it was going to. All right, so now we have our pocket. Now we're ready to assemble, build it, and assemble our scrubs card. Okay. Oh, thanks, Angie says. Very clever. I cannot take credit for the card, actually. My friend Jeannie Cioli made this card. She designed this card, and I just loved it. So I did, I did put a little bit of... Um, Little, made a little modifications, which you could also do if you have different supplies. Okay, so I made a layer separate from the card. I'll just move these out of the way. I made a panel separate from the card base because I wanted to stick the sleeves underneath it so that they didn't show. And if you are mailing this, you will need to bend the sleeves in to get it into an envelope. So just a note about that. All right, so we're going to attach these two squares to the back. I just used snail for that. And it's going to be kind of at a diagonal like this. Not exactly at a diagonal, so I'm just because it's a square, I can do this. I'm just kind of looking at the back to see how I want to. I just don't want that adhesive. Oops, like I just did. Of course, I just did that. just don't want that adhesive to show. I guess if I put it upside down, that wouldn't matter, right? Okay. There's one. And it's, it's going to go like that. So there's the other. This will fit in a regular size envelope, the medium sized envelopes from Stampin' Up, which is just a standard size. But you will need to fold the sleeves in. There is our sleeves, and next I'm going to make the stethoscope, which I did by, let's see, I think I cut it this way. So take your scissors and take this. Coastal Cabana is the color of the cardstock for the scrubs. And then this is going to kind of swing around here. Um, and in my original, I didn't attach this, these until I was done. And then what ended up happening is I kept lifting the front up and so that's why it's not attached so well. So I don't want to do that with this one. I want to do it in the order that makes sense so that when you guys recreate it, it's perfect. Part of why I'm here, right, is to make the mistakes for you so that you don't have to make them. <laughs> that's, that's one of my services I offer for you. I'm going to cut this kind of that bendy off the bottom so it's not bendy. And let's see, where did it? There looks good. And then we're going to take this is our little flesh color. You could make this any color if you wanted to change it up and do a different flesh tone there. We're going to put that up there for the neck. And then we are going to take the frame that we cut out. And this is going to come down. Now, here's the tricky part is that you need to make sure that it's in the center. If you want to, oops, do I have too, I have too much fleshy here? I thought that seemed a little bit too much. You honestly only need a tiny amount. In fact, you know what? I'll wait to put that on. And I think I probably have too much on the instructions too, so you'll want to cut that down. Okay, so just make sure that we are centered here. Like so. All right. And you know what? I'm, I know I'm cheating here. I'm just going to cut this little strip because I think we need all, we need another, we need all of that. Let's see. Oh, that's too much. Okay. 
Well, I still got a little corner here I want to get rid of. Okay, make sure that we're in the center here. There we go. All right, I know that looks kind of funky, right? So then you're going to flip it over and trim off all that excess. Okay, a little bit of an overhang there. And that is giving us the baseline for our um, stethoscope. I'm going to put the words on next just so I know um, where to line everything else up. You can just glue it to the back of the frame. Yes, Karen, that would probably be easy too. Of course, you know, not everything. I can't do everything the easy way. <laughs> uh, like I said, when I did my original, I kept lifting it up because I kept remembering just I needed to put things underneath it and I didn't want to do that on the video. I figured you guys would want something a little bit you know, that you could actually follow along. Oops, sorry. I'm going to cut off the bottom of that for a stethoscope. And then I took a half inch circle punch here. You can probably just use scraps from some of the pieces that you cut out and cut two little pieces for the, the uh, ear pieces. The other thing, if you wanted to, you could kind of put dimensionals underneath here and pop that up. And um, then the pocket, which I have already lost my pocket. There it is. We're going to pop that up with some dimensionals as well. Yes, Kathy, I'm sorry. Um, I just, I actually literally stopped what I was doing to check my blog because a couple people had said that they couldn't find that PDF. And as it turns out, my blog didn't, but the post didn't schedule as I had intended it to. So I will fix that as immediately, as soon as this live is over, I will fix that so that all PDFs will be linked there. You can get the PDF, um, the link to, to purchase the, the COVID relief, and you can also get the link for the instructions on this. Again, I am very, very sorry about that. All right, now our card is almost done, but remember this is just the, the front panel. And the reason for that is if you did this directly on the card base, you'd see these um, sleeves behind it and I didn't want that. So I did an extra layer so you didn't see those, you know, the backing of the sleeves. And again, if you were putting this in an envelope, you'd want to fold those sleeves in. It's a regular size envelope. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick that right to the front. I feel like that is not the right size. I'm going to trim that down a hair. There was a tiny little bit, like an eighth of an inch of overhang on that. But I don't want there. stick that on there and we have our front and then for the inside I, I layered some white in there and I used the um, stitched uh, rectangle to do that they are super creative fun and easy anybody could do these you don't even have to have any experience and you anybody could make these projects today and that is our hero scrubs card which I hope you guys make and hand out a ton of these Again, that design came from Jeannie Cioli, but I, I just, I would love to hand these out to so many people right now. And that concludes our class today with all of our fun, let me zoom out so you can see all of the fun projects. And I will immediately go update that and I will post on my Facebook page to let you know that the PDF is up. The resource page and the PDFs are up. I'm so sorry about that. And we've got our quarantini. And we've got our just roll with it. 
super fun and I hope you have enjoyed all of this a little fun while we're uh, in quarantine <laughs> and a little fun to share with your friends thank you all for joining me today and uh, I will see you back here next week have a great weekend <laughs>